Hi guys, welcome po sa Hugot Sipnayan. This is part 3 ng ating solving system of linear equation for two variables. So alam ko po na we're done with the first part, the second part. Ito na po yung third part natin. And we will be dealing with the part 3 which is the mixture and investment problem. Guys, tara. Tingnan po natin to. So, para po sa ating objective for today. So, at the end of this lesson, the learner must be able to syempre, to answer system of linear equation or problem in system of linear equation that deals with graphing, substitution, and elimination. So, ito po yung tatlong process na pwede po natin gamitin sa pag-solve ng mga itong uri ng problem. So, guys, ang mixture problem natin Ay ito po, so try to read. So, Nora works as a pharmaceutical company as a chemist to meet the client's demand. So, nakapanahon to. So, she, she was told to prefer 100 liters of 25% alcohol solution. Ang on-hand niya guys ay 15 alcohol solution and 40 solution to be mixed. So, Pagkahaluin po natin yung dalawang yun. How many liter of solution will be required to make the mixture. Ano bang mixture kailangan natin? 25% alcohol solution na 100 liters. O tara guys, tingnan natin na solution nito. So, syempre, we start with problem. Syempre, lagi tayo mag-start with the representation. So, lagi yung umpisahan po natin. So, syempre, bago tayo mag-representation, tingnan muna natin guys, kung ano yung mga importante detalye na nasa problem natin. So, let's examine the problem. So, syempre, una yung 100 liters na 25 solution. Syempre, yun yung pinaka-main uh, purpose kung bakit tayo gumawa nito. So, meron daw tayong 15% alcohol solution at meron tayong 40% alcohol solution. So, imagine guys, nagpo, uh, bubuhos ka ng 15 tapos 40 pag aluin mo hanggang mak makabuka ng 25% solution. Napasimple po nang gagawin dito ha. So, parang naghalo ko lang ng alcohol to alcohol. Tapos, kailangan 25% pa ang capability ng alcohol na yun. Hmm. Alam na alam pag mix di ba? So, ngayon, try natin. Sa so, representation natin, guys. So, una natin bibigyan, guys. So, pansin yung X. Yung X natin ay yung 15% solution. At, guys, yung Y natin ang 30% solution. Tandaan nyo, guys, ang hinahanap natin ay... 100% solution at 25%. Ha? 100 liters at 25% solution. Okay? So, syempre, yung X natin ng 15% alcohol, Y natin ay 40% alcohol. So, kailangan, mabalansin na yun. Okay? So, ngayon, pag tayo, guys, nag-formulate ng equation natin, syempre, ito yung lalabas natin. So, meron tayong X, which is 15 liters of, uh, sorry, for 15% solution ng alcohol, at why naman ito sa 40% solution na alcohol. So guys, tandaan nyo ba ba yung conversion ng uh, percent to decimal? So importante po yun. Pag convert natin yung 15% to decimal, 0.15. May hirapan tayo mag-solve guys kapag ginamit natin yung percent. Siyempre, mas madali pag decimal. So ang 40% pag decimal ay 0.4. Kung 5%, 0.05. Pag 7%, 0.07 Pag 10%, 0.1 Dapat tandaan nyo po yun. So recall nyo guys, siyempre elementary to Elementary discussion to Kung ano ba yung pag-convert ng percent to decimal So siyempre pag pinaghalaw natin guys Yung liter tas percent Ito ay 0.15x For the number of liters is x Yung one yung isa naman ay 0.40y Para sa number of liters sa y so, syempre, ang total number, guys, natin ay 100 liters. So, pamimigay ata to para sa mga tao, syempre. Ngayon, doon mabubuo, guys, yung 0.15x, which is the number of liters in 15%, plus 0.4y, which is, y is the number of percent na kailangan natin sa 40%, equal to 0.25x plus y. Bakit x plus y? Kasi nga, pag-ahaluin siya. Okay? 
at x plus y equals to 100 kasi we're looking for 100 liters ka x plus y equals to 100. So, dun po nabuo yung ating dalawang equation. So, ta guys, tandaan nyo guys, ang purpose po natin sa pag-usolve nito guys, lagi, ay to find the equation na proper o tama para sa ating problem. Kung hindi nyo po magagawa yun, magiging mahirapan po sa problem nyo. Dahil sa formulation pa ng equation, problema na. Ang purpose natin kapag tayo nagsosolve ng linear equation in two variables, lalo ang pag-uusapan natin na ito, ay kailangan mapagawa ka ng dalawang equation. So, let us have our solution. Let us have our solution. Now, syempre may solution tayo. So, meron tayong equation ganyan. Anong gagawin natin dito guys? So, what is the best process that we can do? So, sa akin, elimination method to. Kasi medyo komplikado. Kung anong decimal. So, ginawa ko, syempre, yung x plus y sa dulo, ita times 100 nyo, since we're looking for the 100 solution. But, x plus y, guys, ha? Tandaan nyo, pinagsama yung number of liters ng x at number of liter ng y. Pinagsama. Pinagcombine. Kaya, x plus y. So, times 100 natin yung first equation natin. So, will turn out to be this one. 0.15x plus 0.4y equals 25. So, 0 0.5, 0 0.25 times 100, the multiplication po ng decimal, so 25 po yun. So, kailangan recall nyo rin yun ha. Recall nyo rin po. i -re recall pupunta si pass. Malagay yung pass, guys ha. Ang pass ang pundasyon ng future. Kapag hindi tanda, mahirapan. Okay, matik yan. So, yung x plus y natin, guys, is equal to 100. So, yung first equation natin is 0.15x plus 0.4y equals to 25. Ngayon, ang kailangan natin, guys, natin, para maging pareha siya, imumultiply ko yung 0. Uh, 0. 0.4 dun sa, for, sa ating second equation, which is x plus y equals to 100. Bakit? Para makansal ko yung y dun sa first equation. Take note. 0.0y to. Okay? Ito po ay y. So, kung siya maging negative 0. Uh, 0.4y. Para po, mas makancel natin. O mas madali natin makancel. So, dapat ang basa dyan is, take note guys, ang basa dapat dyan ay uh, 4 tenths. Okay? 0.4 lang ginagamit ko para mas madaling sabihin. Pero sa high school guys, ang tawag dyan ay uh, uh, 4 tenths. Okay? Yung isa naman ay 15 hundreds. Sa akin lang, para mas madali yung maintindihan, ginagawa ko po ganun ng pagbasa. Okay? So, 0 0.44, so, syempre, multiply natin, negative 0 0.4 times x ay negative 0 0.4x. So, 0 0.4 times y, it's negative 0.4y. So, 100 times 0 0.4, that is negative 40. Now, bakit negative 40? Kasi ang process na gagawin ko, addition. Gusto ko makansal agad yung 0 0.4 na positive dun sa first equation natin. So, I hope nakakahabol kayo sa discussion natin, ha? Mabilis lang akong maglakad. Mabilis lang akong magsalita. Yan nga lang. Pero sana na itindihan ninyo. Ha? If you have some question, guys, put it below this video. Okay? So, ngayon, try natin. So, let's have some solution. Ito po yung solution natin. <coughs> so, ito po yung solution natin. So, yung 0 0.15, guys, which is our first equation, ikakancel out na natin. So, napansin nyo, guys, kinancel out ko yung 0 0.4 y natin since sila ay positive and negative. So, 0 0.15x minus 0 0.4x, i-add natin to Kaya nabuo yung 0.25x, which is negative, equals to negative 15. Saan ang galing yung negative 50? Negative 40 plus 25. Okay? O negative 15. Ngayon, para makuha natin guys yun, kailangan i-divide natin ang whole equation by 0.25x para makuha natin yung x. At pag dinivide po natin yan using the rules for uh, decimal, lalabas po ang ating solution, which is 60. So, ang solution natin for 15% ay 60. 
Guys, guys, guys. Kung hindi po kayo nakakapag-recall ng decimal, may harapan po kayo. So, ang, ang gusto ko sa inyo sabihin, guys, ay maghanap po ng mga lesson about decimal. Para mas matuto kayo. Ha? So, huwag gagamit guys ng cellphone sa pag-usol ba? Huwag gagamit ng cellphone, calculator, try to use your mind. Pakainin ng utak ninyo ng mga gandang detalye para po pagating sa college senior high, mas madali na. Okay? So, ngayon, paano nakuha yung Y? Guys, na 40. So, guys, saan po nang galing yun? Kung meron tayong 100% solution o 100 liter sa solution, so, 100 minus 60, dun po nakuha yung 40. Which is the remaining solution. So, meron tayong 60 at saka 40 solution. 40 liter solution. Ngayon, after solving, guys, so, we'll come up with our answer. So, the solution for the system is 60-40. So, we need a 60 liter of 15% alcohol solution and 40 liters of 40 degree, uh, 40% 40 alcohol solution to make the mixture of 100 liters of 25% alcohol solution. So, guys, I hope natutunan nyo po ito. Okay? So, yun po yung process natin dito. So, guys, yung critical na part lang naman ito, yung paggagawa ng mga verbal statement into mathematical statement. Like, kung nire-recall sa inyo, guys, kasi po, yun yung mahirap na part nito, yung paggagawa ng equation. Kung hindi mo alam yung fundamental, kaya mahirapan ka. Kung ako sa inyo, pag-aralan nyo mabuti yung mga fundamental, para mas madali nyo itong masagutan. Okay? Approve. Approve po tayo, Chad. So, that is solution problem. So, ta, tara. Let's continue with our next problem, guys, which is the investment problem. So, guys, parang bata pa kayo, mag-invest na mag-invest. Hindi lang, guys, pera dapat ang ini-invest nyo. Number one, kailangan invest, guys, is experiences. Bakit importante yung experiences? Kasi, the more you experience the different things, the more you're capable of. The more na mas matalino ka. Kaya mag-ipon ka ng mga skill, experiences, knowledge, competencies, aptitude. Lahat yan ay magiging napaka-importante on the near future. Okay? So, let's continue with investment problem. No? So, Mr. Ocampo invested 20,000 pesos. Part of the amount is 5% annual interest. Ito po ay parang nag-invest ka sa banko ng pera tapos YouTube po yun. So, nag-5% interest yung isa and the remaining amount at 7% interest annually. So, in the end of the year, he earned a 1,160 pesos. How much did he invest in each rate? So, ano magkano daw i-invest niya? Sa 5% at sa 7%. So, try natin kunin ang mga important ng detalye. So, in, for, in looking for the important details, so, alam ko na sa isip nyo. So, syempre guys, number yun yung 20,000 invest niya in total amount. So, syempre nandyan yung 5%. At nandyan yung 7%. Ah, syempre, in total income niya after niyang invest, which is 1,160 pesos. Hmm. Paano kaya ang solution nito? So, try natin syempre examine. So, bago tayo mag-solution, syempre, we start with the representation. So, yung kanyang pera in nilagak niya o in-invest niya para sa 5% is consider natin as our X. Okay? And, for our Y, that will be the remaining money for the 7% interest. So, yung meron tayong 5%, meron tayong 7% interest. Now, ito guys yung formulation ng equation natin. Now, how did I come up with such equation? So, paano po laging ganun ng equation natin? So, syempre, looking at this problem guys, so, unang ating papasirin guys dyan, yung Kung paano ba kumuha ng interest? So, ang interest guys kasi equals I equals to P times R times T. Kung baga, yung interest na makuha pera, principal money times the rate niya, which is how many percent annually, doon mo makuha na tawag natin uh, income. So, syempre yung amount na in-invest niya ay X at in-invest in sa 7% ay Y. 
So, in total income niya, 0.05x at 0.07y. So, ito yung rate natin guys. So, principal times the rate, ito yung interest, which is our income. So, ito yung principal natin, which is y, yung perang inilagat natin sa 7. So, y, y natin, which is the remaining money, 0.07 para dun sa remaining money natin, 7%. Kaya po nabuo yung 0.05x at 0.07y. Now, Yung total money na invest ni Mr. Ocampo, Mr. Ocampo is 20,000 pesos. So, ano yung magkano yung income niya after a year? It'd be 1,160 pesos. Kaya na buo guys yung ating equation which is x plus y equals to 20,000. So, yung x yung pera sa 5%, ang y ay para sa pera sa 7%. Equals to 20,000. Nakahabol po ba kayo dun? So, x ay 5%, y is 7%. Ang equivalent po niya, 20,000. So, syempre, sa bangko kasi, guys, sa pagtaas ang ini-invest mo, syempre, sa paglaki ng kita. Now, yung 0.05x, siya yung income sa nilagang mo dun sa x na pera. Yung namang 0.7 na sa y na pera naman. Equals to 1,160 pesos. Guys, let's proceed with our solution. So, syempre, meron tayong x plus y equals to 20,000. And 0.5x plus 0.7y equals to 1,760. So, gusto ko ito gamit ang elimination method. So, nag-multiply ako ng 0.05 uh, natin, doon sa x natin, para makansal natin yung x. So, ngayon, may isang 0.05x times the quantity x plus y equals to 20,000. Ang primary purpose ko ay para makancel natin yung 0.05 next natin. Kaya negative ang multiply ko. So, pag ginawa ko siya, may isang 0.05x minus 0.05y equals to negative 1,000. Guys, tandaan nyo ha. Ito po ay decimal. So, kailangan po maalam kayo ng mga detalye kung pa paano magsod ng mga decimal. Okay? So, ngayon, pag sinod natin siya guys, Ma-cancel out po 'yon. You turn out to be a 0.2y equals to negative equals to 160. So 0.07 minus 0.05 ay 0.02. So 1160 my ano plus what negative 1000 ay 160. So pag dinivide po natin 'yan guys using the law for decimal, so magiging po tayong 8000. So meron tayong pera nilagak for the Doon sa 0.7%, which is 8,000. Paano naman doon sa x? O di 20,000 minus 8,000, yun po yung x, which is 12,000. Ibig sabihin guys, si Mr. Ocampo ay nag-invest ng 12,000 para doon sa 5% annually at 8,000 para naman doon sa 7% annually. So sa conclusion natin, yun nga po yung nabanggit ko. Okay? So, yung resulta natin is 12,000 to 8,000. So, I hope guys na matutunan kayo sa ating discussion for today. Kung medyo nahihirapan kayo, you may ask me some question below this video para masagot ko po yan at madiscuss po natin mabuti. At suhukan yung sumabay po sa misan maglalive ako. At you could ask some question about our topic para po mas malaman yung discussion natin. I hope you learned something from this video guys. So this is um, mixture problem and interest problem. I hope you learned something from this video. Guys, do not forget to follow me on this page and sa akin pong mga social media account. At sana po may natunan kayo. And see you guys on the next video. So kindly follow me, subscribe, and follow my page guys. Ito po yung mga page ko. And God bless po. Ingat at Ingat po kayong mga kasipnayan at sana po may naltunong ay sa akin. Ingat po, God bless.